Hey guys, before we leave, I want you to check something out here that has been unequivocally the single best thing I have bought for truck camping in a really long time. It is an absolute game changer, and I can't believe I went so long without having one of these. It is, voila, the uh, Bodega 12 volt portable uh, RV refrigerator and freezer combo. This thing is really cool, check it out. Okay, so what we have here is the 38 quart or 36 liter version of the Bodega 12 volt car refrigerator and portable freezer. Comes with a convenient control panel out here where you can control each department inside in terms of temperature um, settings and your power settings right here. Uh, you got a USB port on there, that's pretty cool. It's a hard, uh, like a polymer plastic material. It's got wheels on this side here and the handles on the side. This one even expands right here. Inside, you've got a freezer compartment and a refrigerator department. Now, if you don't want to use both of those simultaneously, you can remove this middle partition right here and use it all as one freezer or all as one refrigerator. I use it for, you know, half and half. Right now I'm using just the refrigerator part because I'm out of my ice stuff already. Um, it plugs right into my cigarette lighter adapter, my 12 volt cigarette lighter uh, auxiliary power that every car has nowadays. I've had this running for three days, no issues whatsoever. This thing is cool. Uh, your temperature ranges are negative four degrees Fahrenheit to 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 12 volt, 24 volt DC, and 100 and 240 volt AC um, for anything. You can plug this into a wall too. So it comes with a cigarette lighter uh, adapter as well as a, uh, a home power outlet adapter. These work great with portable power stations such as the Jackery, the EcoFlow, uh, all those things. They come with a, um, a system on here that you can adjust the power that it's pulling from those said units so that it won't drain your battery completely. This even shows you what the voltage is, the current voltage that it's pulling off my truck battery, which is 11.8 volts. That comes in really handy. The size of this uh, 38 quart version here um, is 28 and a half inches lengthwise here. I'm using my phone here so that I can uh, get my uh, notes here. Uh, 14 and a half inches tall by 14 inches uh, wide. And um, again, so that, that refrigerator portion here, put that up. The, uh, the refrigerator portion here, um, if you're using the separate compartments, uh, holds about 18 liters as well as 18 liters in this one. For a combined tool, if you pull it out, you can have uh, 36 liters or 38 quarts. And there's quite a bit of room inside there. I, I, uh, you can keep uh, you know, all your beer, your soda, whatever on, on one side. It'll keep it cold all weekend. No more having to mess with ice. No more having to mess with soggy food or having to go halfway through your camping trip to uh, to go get more ice. Again, these are touch controls right here, but check this out, guys. It even comes with its own Bluetooth app. So I can control this refrigerator from Bluetooth range. I control the left side temperatures, uh, the right side temperatures, adjust them accordingly here, change to Celsius and Fahrenheit. Uh, I can do eco mode, anything. And here's that, uh, that power consumption thing on the bottom there that I was telling you about where it'll automatically shut off at a, a certain, uh, if it goes below a certain voltage. Guys, go into the links down below and check this thing out, get yourself one. I have it in my Amazon links down below in the comments. This is the Bodega 38 quart portable refrigerator and freezer. I'm sure I've left something out, but there's just too many good things to list about these. These are awesome. The uh, compressor in this is virtually silent. You can barely hear it running. It's got the intake over here. Um, it's backed by a three-year warranty through Bodega. This is their, uh, their compressor that they have in here. Here's the thing. You could go out and buy yourself a Canyon cooler or a Yeti cooler and spend hundreds of dollars, upwards of $600 on those things. This right here, you can find these in various different sizes. This one here is half of that price. You can get these for as low as $200, guys. It makes no sense to go out and spend you know, six, seven hundred dollars on a, on a cooler that weighs 45 pounds that you still have to do the antiquated way of putting ice in it. This right here is the way to go. Check it out.